Disclaimer. These videos are meant to be a brief overview of the subject. They are written to meet time constraints while still conveying factual historical information. My sources for each video are in the video summary below and can get you started on a more in-depth look at the subject. On a personal note, if there is a way to mispronounce the name, I will do it. It is a gift and I am sorry about it ahead of time. Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Days Gap, located in Coleman County, Alabama, on the 30th of April, 1863. One of Union General Grant's feints for Vicksburg was Union Colonel Benjamin H. Grierson and a cavalry troop that had been sent on a 500-mile, 16-day raiding spree. Thought to be one of the most successful raiding campaigns of the war, Grierson had ended up with Confederate General John C. Pemberton, sending both his cavalry and an infantry division after him. The Union command wanted to keep Grierson's raid going, so ordered 1,500 troops under the command of Union Colonel Abel D. Strait to destroy Western and Atlantic Railroad in West Georgia and to engage the Confederate General Nathan Bedford Forrest and his men long enough for Grierson to keep raiding. Strait arrived on the Tennessee River with his men via steamboats and set out from Eastport, Mississippi on the 21st of April. Receiving reinforcements at Tuscumbia, Alabama, they rode and moved slowly as the Union troops headed southeast towards northern Alabama. Eventually, Confederate General Forrest caught up with Strait on the 30th of April at Day's Gap on Sand Mountain. In a classic enveloping maneuver, Forrest got caught flat-footed as one of his cavalry columns was ambushed. In the combat, General Forrest's brother was wounded and the Union managed to capture two large pieces of artillery. Confederate General Forrest redoubled his pursuit and chased Strait and his men towards Rome, Georgia. Strait had planned on crossing the Ustanaula River at Rome. Unfortunately for the Union, Forrest caught up on April 30th, resulting in a brief engagement of the rear line of Strait's men against Forrest's scouts. The Union troops didn't stop long enough to fight, though, and they just continued to move on. By May 3rd, though, Strait was desperate to get away from the unfriendly locals and Forrest's Confederate troops that he finally surrendered his 1,500 men to a force of less than 700 of Forrest's cavalry. The casualties for this encounter were 23 Union soldiers killed, wounded, or missing, with 65 Confederate soldiers killed, wounded, or missing. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.